to Democracy 2013, John Cranley vowed during his campaign to stop the streetcar, stop the par parking lease, and balance the budget. And the mayor-elect joins us this morning live. Thanks for coming in. Great to be On here, a whirlwind Cameron. couple of days. Uh, we had a WCPO.com poll that said 50% of whom say that, that stopping the streetcar should be your first priority. We mentioned earlier you've been invited to D.C. to talk about this. What is the possibility of this money being reallocated for something else? Oh, I think it's about 40 percent, but we still, on a local level, uh, the cost of continuing the streetcar would be $100 million up front in capital dollars that we don't have, plus a $4 million per permanent deficit to, to operate it at the very time we can't, we don't have enough money for cops and firefighters. Mm -hmm. So I calculate that the cost of continuation is about $180 million when you factor in the net present value of that operating deficit plus the capital money versus getting out of it's going to cost us about 20, 25 million, which is a shame that mm -hmm. they spent that money, uh, but it's still a lot cheaper and better deal for the taxpayers to get out. In addition <laughs> to a new mayor, we're also looking at a, a, at a new look council, and you've already set up uh, meetings right. with each of the new council members, and many of them are on board with this idea of stopping the streetcar. What, how else can you get them on board with your vision? Oh, well, there's no question the voters set a very big mandate, a super majority of council that didn't like the parking deal, that doesn't like the streetcar, and wants us to get back to basics of jobs and job training and investing in neighborhoods, cleaning up the fiscal house of the city. Any concern about potential referendums uh, being put on the ballot uh, to, to continue the streetcar? No, because, I mean, obviously people can exercise their right to do so, but I would suggest that there was a referendum mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Right. And uh, the voters spoke pretty loud and clear. And uh, once again, congratulations, Thank Mayor-elect Cranley, for coming in this morning. We appreciate it, and uh, good luck in D.C. Thank you.